We're going to explain how to enable 5G on your Huawei EG 8245H5 router. This router, provided by many internet service providers, might not explicitly advertise a 5G enable button, but enabling 5G functionality is usually about ensuring your connection settings are correct, and the router itself is capable of handling the 5G signal from your modem. There's no single switch to flip, but here's a step-by-step -step guide to maximize your chances of getting the best possible 5G performance. 1. Check your internet plan. First, and most importantly, confirm that your internet plan actually includes 5G service. Contact your internet service provider, ISP, to verify. If you don't have a 5G plan, even perfectly configured settings won't give you 5G speeds. This is the most crucial step. There's no point in proceeding if you lack the necessary service. 2. Check your modem. Ensure your modem is capable of transmitting a 5G signal. Many ISPs provide specific modems designed for 5G. Using an older, incompatible modem will severely limit your speeds, regardless of your router settings. If you're uncertain, check your modem's documentation or contact your ISP for clarification. The router can only work with the signal it receives. 3. Connect your modem and router. Make sure your modem is correctly connected to your Huawei EG 8245H5 router. Usually, this involves an Ethernet cable connecting the modem's LAN port to one of the router's LAN ports. Double-check the connections. A loose cable can disrupt performance significantly. Make sure all the cables are tightly connected. 4. Access the router's interface. Open a web browser on your computer or phone. Type your router's IP address into the address bar, usually 192.168.1.1 or 192.168.0.1, but check your router's documentation if these addresses don't work. You'll likely need your router's login credentials, usually found on a sticker on the router or in its documentation. These are typically admin for both username and password. 5. Check for 5G settings or related options. Once logged in, navigate through the router's settings. Look for options related to network type, wireless settings, or WAN settings. The specific terminology can vary slightly, but you might find something like wireless mode, operation mode, or internet connection type. While you're unlikely to find an explicit 5G enable button, selecting automatic or dynamic IP, if available for your connection type, often allows the router to negotiate the best available connection automatically, including 5G if the signal is available. Six, check the signal strength. After you've reviewed the connection settings, monitor the signal strength indicators within the router's interface. A weak signal might indicate issues with modem placement, interference, or potentially a problem with the 5G network in your area. If your signal is poor, you might need to optimize your modem's placement or contact your ISP to rule out network issues. 7. Reboot your router and modem. After making any changes, it's always recommended to reboot both your router and modem to apply any setting changes. Unplug them, wait about 30 seconds, then plug them back in. 8. Test your speed. Use a speed test website like ooklaspeedtest.net to check your internet speed after completing these steps. Compare the results to what you expect from a 5G connection according to your ISP's plan. If your speed is considerably lower than advertised, revisit the earlier steps and ensure everything is correctly configured. If the problem persists, contact your internet service provider for support.